What is up you guys? I am super excited to be filming this video. Um, we are going to be doing an extension removal. Y'all been asking for this so I'm going to show y'all how to remove the waterfall on the hand tied wefts. Um, so go ahead and keep watching. A little change in scenery. Uh, I recently opened my salon in December. Grand opening was December 11th. So if y'all want to hear you know some backstory on that or get a salon tour, comment down below. Um, I'm absolutely in love with my new location. Um, right now in the video, I'm just going through and unclamping the beads in the first row, getting them nice and loose, and then I'm going to go through and pull the hair um, through each bead out of the bead. So you're going to see that here in a minute. So here's a real good close-up. I'm just pulling each bead out, and then I'm going to loosen them up throughout the whole entire row, and then I'm going to come through and lift the left up. I just literally pull the bead out and then um, pull the hair out of that waterfall section. Now you can see, this is a 12 week roll. I totally forgot to mention that. She is 12 weeks out, just to show you how long these um, wefts will last you. Um, I usually recommend my girls go eight to 10 weeks, um, but she went 12 and that's perfectly okay. Her hair wasn't matted or anything, I'm just pulling it out. She does struggle with alopecia, so she uses um, a lot of hairspray, a lot of volume spray, so her hair does seem a little bit dry that and she hasn't been in the salon in 12 weeks so we're going to be doing fresh extensions fresh color we're going to be toning the extensions all that good stuff oh and a brazilian blowout that's going to be a key factor in um smoothing the hair out if you want information on brazilian blowouts let me know um i love 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 adding those services for my clients but basically i just undid everything taking the last bead out pulling it through that little bead and then you can basically just pull it right on out of the left it doesn't hurt the client, there's no breakage, um, everything is just nice, safe, secure. Well, I guess no longer secure because we're taking them out, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, fast forward a little bit. We went ahead and did her color. I used Schwarzkopf. We did a 951 and a 90 on her roots, and I added a little bit of baby lighting. Um, one of my stylists, Vivian, is going in and doing her Brazilian blowout. This is just going to smooth the hair, make it look nice. Ooh, look at that. Oh, gosh. Um, transformation. Um, smooth the hair, make it nice and healthy. And then we're going to go in and start waterfalling and adding the extensions. Guys, I'm sorry if my background is so loud. My dogs are just super excited to be out of the house. I just got home. So they're making all kinds of noise. But basically, we're doing the waterfall extensions. Here's a little quick tutorial. If you want the full step-by-step -step video, again, I have it uploaded on my YouTube page. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I guess while we're talking, don't forget to follow me on my social media. My salon is champagne underscore hair underscore studio. And that is on Instagram. I'll put it in the description. And then my personal is champagne underscore hair underscore extensions. Now you're going to see that, like I said, she has little sore spots. That is not from the extension, guys. She battles alopecia. We have a lot of unfortunate balding in, um, I think, four different regions of her head that has nothing to do with the extensions. That's all, you know, on, you know, unfortunately what the client is going through. And this is what we do to thicken up her hair. So don't think that these extensions are damaging her hair whatsoever. There's absolutely no breakage. Um, as you can see, everything is nice and smooth down. So 
So now we're getting into stitching. I always use a nylon thread and then I just go right behind the bead, pull the needle through nice and tight. Um, and that's how I stitch my extensions in for the hand tied wefts. I use little clips to hold it together. Um, but aside from that, what a transformation on her roots, you guys. Um, we use Schwarzkopf formulation. We toned her with a 951 um, with a dash and 9 dash 1. And then her roots are a 9 dash 0 and a 9 dash 51 from the Agora Rail. That is a permanent color, 20 volume. We left it on for 40 minutes. Um, because she had a little bit of salt and pepper going on and the extensions are just toned with plain old purple shampoo um, I use the no yellow by shorts cough my absolute favorite and this is just gonna be a quick video of me stitching in and giving you all a recap on the install so whoop, wait what there we go okay sorry I saw it coming up okay so this is um, the final look you can see how seamless nice and ashy the extensions are nice and smooth and how it blends this is going to be our second layer so we do two rows on her so i'm going to show you all what the um underneath looks like oh my gosh looks so good and then this is me going in on the second row and ta-da we're done oh my gosh so super quick video um and then that is what it looks like the brazilian blow smooth her hair down you guys it looks so 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 good okay don't forget to like and subscribe